So as we reintroduce ourselves here to how you simplify expressions, basically we gotta recall the rules we had for dealing with our dear Aunt Sally. We gotta follow order of operations, right? So if we follow order of operations, we we'll start in this big guy right here. I'm gonna start calculating out as much of that as I possibly can. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring down the other stuff that's attached to it as we go along. So working inside the brackets, doing what I can based on the rules that are my order of operations, I would take this nine minus seven here to start, get two, right? I've got three times that two. I'm starting inside the parentheses. Now over here, I'm adding on an expression that is eight U minus 11. There's nothing I can do inside the parentheses here because those are not like terms, right? You got that variable stuff. But can I, can I at least drop the parentheses? Would that matter? I could do that, right? Because I'm only adding and there's nothing in front of this. So if I drop the parentheses, I've got eight U minus 11. Everything else, just bring it along. Depending on your comfort level on these problems, you could probably do more calculations than I'm doing right now at once. Okay, you jot down whatever you need to jot down to keep track. So still working inside the brackets. This three times two, obviously six. If I combine that with the minus 11 inside the brackets, well, let's see, now I've got the six minus the 11, so that's negative five, right? plus the eight U, or I'd have eight U minus five, however you want to write it there. Bring down the minus eight, bring down the two minus the four. Everything inside, any kind of symbols here, any kind of parentheses is done, right? I can't put this together anymore. So now I start to look at multiplication or division. You don't have any exponents to work with, so I can skip over that, right? Notice there's a negative four in front of the parentheses here, or brackets. I could take that negative four, I could distribute through. Got to do the multiplication next. So being very careful with the fact that it is a negative four, negative four times negative five would be positive 20. Negative four times positive eight u would be negative 32 u. So there's the distribution. Still got to bring down this two that I have not acknowledged yet. Still got to bring down this minus eight that's waiting its turn. Now everything's out in the open to play with. So combining like terms at this point, uh, we got a two, we got a 20, so 22 minus an eight. So that's gonna be what, 14? You got the 22 minus eight, so that's positive 14. You're bringing down the negative 32 U it looks like we have put together as much as we possibly can here. This is simplified. So yeah, same kind of arrangement of numbers. We just group things differently on this one. Goal is the same. We want to be able to simplify it. So we start in the bracket region. And as we start to calculate things out in there, we know we're working inside parentheses here to start with the nine minus seven, which is the two. If we wanna kind of bypass a lot of writing here, if we know that's two and that's multiplied to three here, then we can bring down the six, right? That would be allowed. We got this eight U, it's kind of just hanging out. And we are subtracting the parentheses here of 11 minus eight, which if we do that, we get three. And this is all inside the brackets. Now another grouping we have out front is two minus four, which we can put together because it's in parentheses, right? And that idea itself is just being multiplied to this. So two minus four get negative two. We clean up the brackets a little bit. We've got negative two times, uh, basically six and minus three go together, giving you three plus eight u or eight u plus three. Negative two in front, we distribute through. You distribute that through, you've got negative two times three, negative six. You've got negative two times the positive eight u, that's gonna be minus 16 u. So we could say negative six minus 16 u, or you could say negative 16 u minus six. Either is acceptable. Right, so 
next expression here to simplify. Obviously, got the big set of brackets here. We're playing inside. And as we play inside, you've got a lot of sets of parentheses, but in each set of parentheses, there's no real calculating you can do, right? You just got terms. So this one's all about being able to combine like terms somehow. Normally, some distributing has to be done. For instance, if I bring this down, that negative is still applied to the front. This negative right here is applied to the quantity of 3AB plus 6B. That means I'm distributing that idea through as a negative 1, which also means if there's a negative in front, I'm just changing the signs on what's inside, right? So I'm taking the 3AB, that becomes negative 3AB. I'm taking the 6AB, which is positive, I'm making that minus 6B. I said it wrong, didn't I? It's a 6B. So subtract 6B there. Okay, we are adding on this idea over here that involves multiplication. This negative 2a we are multiplying through. So as you multiply it through, understanding you're adding it on, we'd be adding on negative 2a times b, so that's just minus 2ab, right? Plus negative 2ab minus 2ab. And then you've got the negative 2a times the positive 4, which would be negative 8a added on just subtract. You start to appreciate all the signs now, how easy it is to mess these signs up sometimes. That's the number one killer in simplifying expressions is sign mistakes. At this stage, everything inside is not quite cleaned up, right? There's some like terms we could put together, looking for the same variable arrangements with the same powers. So if I put those together, still got the negative to apply out here, unless I want to do it all at once. The uh, negative 3AB and the minus 2AB become negative 5AB, right? You've got the minus 6B and the minus 8A, at which point everything inside the brackets is cleaned up. Like terms have been put together, so this negative we now distribute. And as you distribute that negative, it just changes the signs on everything inside, giving us 5AB plus 6b plus 8a. Arrangement of variable terms in your answer there could vary, but that's the idea, right? So I'm looking at this problem and comparing it to the first three. The first three, there's a little more emphasis on order of operation. Here, this problem's more about collecting the like terms. Because looking inside parentheses, for each of these, there's nothing you can really do. So all you gotta pay attention to is, is there anything sitting in front of these groupings that I can multiply through? For this first part here, 3x squared plus 2x minus five, nothing's in front, it is what it is. Let's drop the parentheses, get it out in the open and see if we can combine it with anything else. You have a negative symbol here obviously denoting the subtraction of this expression, but that negative symbol would get carried through with distribution to make this a minus 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 1. So negative in front, just change the signs. And finally, we get to this last part where you have a positive 2. It's multiplied the 4x minus 3, so distribute the 2 through. If you distribute that 2 through, we get plus 8x, and then you got the positive 2, the negative 3, minus 6. Now everything's out in the open. We start combining like terms. If you combine your like terms, uh, let's just go in order of power starting with the largest. The largest power here on x we have is the negative 3x cubed, right? Just one term of x cubed stuff. Uh, x squared, we've got a couple of those. So there's a 3x squared, there's a 5x squared, all positive, so it's plus 8x squared. Got some x stuff. Got the 2x minus the 4x plus the 8x, so that's going to be what? 6x, all positive. And then we've got numerical values, call these constants as we go along. So 
So that's going to be what? Negative 11. Looks like we've combined all the like terms, right? Oh, that is negative 11 plus 1. That'd be minus 10. Thank you. Forgot to add the 1. That look good? 